has to put up a lot with my like emotions and like no, because, like you guys okay. he's a saint. It's and so not. I found myself just being a little bit less patient with him. Last night was chaotically look with him. Wait to tell your husband you're pregnant. I'm not panicking. Go, hold on. It literally says baby baits coming son, but I forgot the other O, so I just shoved the son away and it just says baby baits coming. Coming son, it could be my son. It could be a little girl. Why is it getting darker? I was so confused. We gotta figure all this out. I guess it's a good thing I didn't put anything in a potential baby room because I was gonna set it up as the man cave with my whole gym set up. So the baby room is getting rescued by the baby. <laughs> we're not ready to be parents. No, we're not. We're kids. I don't want to be that worried mother, but here I am. This is our miscarriage story. And we really wanted to share this because we hope that it encourages families who are maybe going through this or have gone through it, um, that it's a very hard and maybe tricky thing to talk about. We were really hesitant to share it just for the obvious reasons that it's not talked about a lot. I feel like now maybe it is a bit more, but I feel like people are so vocal about the wrong things that I feel like we need to be just as vocal about how important it is to celebrate that life that God has given. And so we really hope that this encourages someone or for someone to say like, oh, I went through the same thing and I'm not alone because I remember when it happened to me, I was just like looking up a ton of people, even just on social media to be like, man, who went through this? And then people in my own family went through miscarriages that I didn't even know about. So there might be people in your lives who you don't even know how to like, I remember telling one person in my family and I had no idea they had a miscarriage. And so that was um, shocking. So I hope this, uh, everyone goes through a different journey and this may look different. I also wanted to say that uh, adoption for us has always been at the forefront. God placed it on our hearts as when we were single and for we dating, it was literally like a deal, like one of the deal breakers on the list to get married was adoption had to be at the forefront. And so we'll talk more about that later, but wanted to make that very clear. If your family's gone through this, like what stories do you have? What are good healing helps? I think even sharing this video with you guys has been something that we've been on the fence about for a while. And we're a good bit of time post all of the situation that you're about to watch unfold because the emotions were obviously raw and real and we weren't ready to talk about it but hearing Tiffany's heart and seeing how she handled the process really really encouraged me just knowing that there were things that helped her heal you know after and obviously we don't want to take away from those joy-filled moments when we both right. found out that we were gonna be parents <laughs> there's nothing like that I, I think I literally fell down on the ground when yeah, Tiffany first first told me but I know it's such a sensitive subject everybody's gonna grieve differently but this was our story and it's kind of helped us get closure just sharing the story yeah. and talking about it so yeah you'll hear a lot more on so there. so you'll hear it in the episode but before we get into it this is gonna be unique yes but we we want to save the moments of, of joy if you go to my Instagram there's this uh, slide that I did it's called you know things I've from God through pain and grief and it's talking about like even if God gives the why that things happen it wouldn't change the sorrow or wouldn't sure. change like the longing of the thing of whatever that was that you lost another thing I which you always know consistently is like whatever your view is on God is how you handle things in life whether good or bad so our view is that God is still good and God is still good no matter what another thing too is a lot of people now are going to comment on Fertility and like what about this and that and that doesn't mean a woman's infertile you don't never know what happens and so I always get really sad for a lot of women who maybe share stuff like this because obviously we have um, people in our lives where people are like well why don't you just you know adopt or you're infertile like get help or why don't you do you know in vitro and, and that's great whatever your family decides to do that's amazing but I just feel like just be very careful when your friends or family maybe share that oh miscarriage don't ask them, well, when are you going to try again? 
we're going to get comments no matter what. So we're opening ourselves to that anyway. But as encouragement and as advice to those watching, well, people in their lives are going through that. Don't ask about infertility. Don't sure. ask about what what are your plans for kids? Are you going to have kids? It's just, it's a lot. And if you haven't been through it, it's just very insensitive. There's no way to describe the high and the low of the feeling knowing you're a dad and then losing it and then not knowing how to even talk about it again. I think about just seeing my wife go through so much pain, how much it hurt me, and then also dealing with the same pain of loss internally, but wanting to be strong and lead and get us through and stay positive. We love children. Before we even met, we have always said that we're going to adopt. We hope to have kids that will be in God's time. It's really good to also surround yourself with people who understand, who can really help sure. you. The only people who actually know that it's happened is probably like nine people. And so we just want to thank my parents, his parents, my brother, um, his sister, his brother, and his wife, and my aunt as well. So, um, and my grandma. And so that's really all you know. And so we just want to give a huge thank you, just um, especially to his sister, just for being on the phone with us, sure. like all day at the emergency room. And then his brother and his uh, wife for coming on, spending time with us that whole week in California. My parents and his parents, obviously, for just praying. While you can sit in your grief, you don't let it like overpower, overpower you because we have a spirit of a sound mind. Sure and of Christ and not of like fear or sadness. And of course you can have those moments of sorrow, especially in the beginning where you just randomly cry. Like I remember what happened, I did not eat. I was fine and then all of a sudden I would cry. Like there's your, like your body's going through so much from like you went, you rose in hormones and then it just dropped. So there's a lot of hormone stuff <laughs> that happens. This is part one of our pregnancy story. Okay, this is very low quality. I'm literally doing this because I haven't taken a test in a while, but I got one. I actually made loss and go get one. I don't look the best, but I'm pretty confident I'm not pregnant, which is why I look like this. Otherwise, I'd have like my hair and makeup done. So this is definitely like not like planned. Like I literally have no idea. So we're just gonna try because I cannot sleep until I know, and I know it's not as good to take a test at night as it isn't right before you wake up. Like I literally just ate dinner and drank so much water. So that's probably not gonna work but let's just try because i don't know so let's go for it i'm actually getting really nervous because it's very faint like it's not big so i think my brain's just like messing with me Like, am I being stupid right now? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's getting darker. Guys, it hasn't even... <gasps> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell Lawson. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys, I watched all these videos like how to tell your husband your... I don't know, just like for fun. not look cute at all. Not that that's what it is, but I was thinking like, man, I'm crying way too much. <gasps> you guys, you guys were about to go on a, like a 10 day trip out of the country. I'm, I'm in the desert right now. Guys, I'm literally shaking. This was not planned at all. You guys, th this was not planned. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one in the morning. But I don't can't tell if that's like two lines or not. I'm gonna flip it and we're gonna look at it again. Guys, it's literally only been like two minutes and 23 seconds. Like, I'm literally shaking. Like, do you see me? Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Okay guys, my room is full of storage. The reason why is because Lawson was like, oh, come here, and he's in the other room. So I was like, okay. And he's like, oh, give me a hug. But I had the test in my pocket. So I was like, oh, one second. So then I like went into my old room and I threw it literally in my old like stroller thing. Okay, we're gonna check it one more time. Just to make sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys.
I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant, babe. I'm pregnant. Love you. I love you. Love you, babe. You're the greatest. I'm sorry I torture you. I have to tell you something. Wait till morning, please. I'm not, I'm so not ready. Please wait till morning. <laughs> Let me try and it's about to happen, okay? I do this to you all the time. I'm so sorry. Do you forgive me? Okay, love you. Good night. Okay, it's um, 8 a.m. in the morning. We're here in California. I still don't look adorable for these videos, but um, I didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. I think I just spent all night like crying, not because I was Scared, I think it's like shock. And when you're like shocked, I think the quickest way for your body to release cortisol is through crying. So um, I'm just gonna try it again and um, we'll see. I obviously wanted to tell Lawson in a very cute way, like with balloons or like a little baby onesie, but I don't have time for that. Tomorrow, my brother Eric is actually surprising my parents to come visit because Monday we're leaving for Europe and Lawson has some friends in town. So it's like, I can't just like go to the store and be like, oh, I'm going to the store because I want to go to the store. Um, so I'm just going to try to tell him because we're leaving on Monday. I don't really, I don't know, but I'm thankful to the Lord. I'm just going to do it again because it's always good to, you know, get a second opinion. Um, I should probably have picked a different brand, but honestly, Lawson picked these up because um, he's just like, oh, I'll just grab them because you've been crying a ton. So um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just gonna leave it right here. All right, let's go. It literally um, keeps getting darker and um, it was really quick, like I'm not even waiting. I think it says to wait like five minutes and it's not even been like a minute and a half. And the really bummer thing, well not bummer, not because of this, but I mean telling the loss in part is I have the compilation of literally telling him I'm pregnant as a funny thing. And now I'm like actually gonna tell him. Like I was not prepared. <laughs> we like can't reach a doctor. That is definitely two lines so we'll see i am like frantically driving like two miles away to this cvs because i'm trying to do something for lawson like get a card get a passy get something absolutely nothing at this rite aid i mean they have pacifiers but i wanted like a onesie but i don't think they sell that at a drug store okay guys this is not the cutest angle because the thing on the car that holds up the phone keeps falling. It's a lot quicker to hold it in my lap and get, you know, a good chin shot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Dollar General. Rite Aid has nothing, you guys. Don't rely on their cards if you need last minute cards. This Dollar General has a way better selection. So um, I'm just gonna grab a Passy. I mean, they're all blue. I mean, I'll just grab these. It's like pink and blue ones um they sell onesies praise the lord there's blue and pink i was hoping there'd be something neutral but i feel like look girls can have a little blue elephant right i gotta find a sign and a card okay i checked to find my friends and my dad is still at his friend's place like less than a mile away so that's good he won't know i took this car but i needed to get to the store so don't worry guys car is safe i am safe i have the stuff it's not like picture perfect but since we're at the house here in the desert i'm sure i can find like cute little things to add to so i have a huge like bassinet thing i think i'm just gonna like put that in the but I already bought this stuff, so I'll probably do both. That way he gets like the full experience, you know what I mean, guys? Ready with me to tell my husband I'm pregnant. <gasps> so to be perfectly honest with you, like we weren't trying, but we weren't like not trying, if that makes sense. Oh, and also I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is literally just my quick, easy one. I already put on my, uh, Primer and then a little bit of uh, tinted moisturizer. 
I cried basically till 4 a.m. because I was so nervous. I had no idea what to do. Um, so if you guys can tell me how you told your husband, there's a fly literally on my face. I'm filming this outside because everyone is inside and I told boss and I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to do one of those like girl get ready with me things. Okay, I don't know what it is, you guys, but I'm literally pausing for my brain to think of things. Is that like a pregnancy thing? Um, I guess it is. I guess I'm pregnant now. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm doing this as a cover-up because obviously, y'all, I'm not a professional makeup artist. This literally is just my, like, daily go-to, like, quick, um, makeup. As you can tell, it's very minimal. And now the final finish. I'm gonna go curl my hair. But thanks for getting ready with me. I know there wasn't a whole lot of details in this other than the fact that I am very, um, nervous. One more spray for good luck. Let's go. Oh, hey. What were you saying? Here's what's happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Let me explain. Nothing is happening right now. Let me right explain now. what's happening. Last night, I had this... Tiff was going, Tiff was going through a lot, and I could just tell, like, I bought a couple pregnancy tests for her, because she asked me to. He's not that smart, guys. Okay, let's not get our pills on the floor. It has these little, it's like a little note in each one, so one day I'm going to hand it you one. It says, it says, I'm pregnant. Uh, <laughs> it says, I love your humor, smile, confidence, and everything about you. What if I'm about to play a baby announcement? <laughs> She does this to me every day, guys. So we will never know. You know, I think I should do a collage of these when we actually announce. Because I'm scared the real reaction is gonna be like, whatever. And it's actually gonna be real. Have you ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? Okay, honey, I guess now it's time to tell you I'm pregnant. Babe, don't do this every day. <laughs> I had a dream last night and it said I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it did. I took a test in my dream. It said pregnant. I hope when you tell me this isn't the angle you decided to get my reaction from. <laughs> Honey, I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. I love you. Lawson, I'm pregnant. <laughs> she does this to me every day and it makes me so mad. <laughs> I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> I, I feel pregnant, honey. Don't go to Mexican restaurants on Sunday. I took Lawson to see Rod to tell him I'm pregnant. No, she did. <laughs> I'm pregnant and we're on our way to our gender reveal with the dolphins and they're gonna jump out and they're gonna hold a banner. It's gonna say, Tiffany's pregnant. I don't believe it for a minute. No, don't do that to me. Okay, babe. I know what you're trying to do. why stop. we're not going to Florida because we're, I'm pregnant. She does. <laughs> stop. Right. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. She's I'm holding not, my baby. She thinks it's a fashion statement to hold her tummy. To get Lawson to go to Memphis so I can surprise him that I'm pregnant there. I would lose my ever loving mind. <laughs> Guess what? I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. you get the test? What? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find the perfect gift for Lawson. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll be a child for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant. Oh, that's a quick, uh, that's a quick nine months to Christmas. I know. Sure I took a test. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Until at this point, I've been surprised so it's many in my times. Purse. I'm not gonna bring I it. will not believe it until I see go a it? test. Until I see something. Here, have her. There's no <laughs> test in her bed. She'd be lying. This girl is an actress. See? She's an actress, okay? And she's obviously purse, a good one. I love that way using the test. Mm -mm, yeah. She'd be lying. Uh, she would never do that because somebody would be bound to find it. There's no way. 
They can't keep a secret. I know my okay. homies. Baits are the worst secret keepers in history. There's a lot of good qualities I have. Secret keeping is not one of them. Here's the deal. We're pregnant. I'm pretty not, positive. I'm not telling you I am that like 99% awesome. positive. You're going to be so But last sad. night she was trying to like, it was like 3 a.m. And it was a, a lot of emotion. And she wants to like do well, baby, a I always do normal that. announcement. So what we're doing is... She's unhyping me to make me think she's not, but it's reverse psychology. We really are, and We're later not. today or later in the week, I'm gonna find out, I think. What Let's do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm pregnant or do you think I'm not pregnant? She is, she is guys. You did trick me! Holy smokes! I can't breathe! Oh my stars! Oh my stars! Oh my god! Are you lying? I'm not! Holy smokes! I was like, no, there's no, no. I'm so sorry. I can't breathe. Did you look at it? Yes. I'm not getting your face. I'm editing an episode where I'm picking out gifts for other people's babies and I was Holy smoke, she took two to be double sure. <laughs> I don't have any words to say. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's blue, is this a sign? No, no, it's the only thing they have. You can't know this early, well, there's the, no way. No, I got a pink pacifier. <laughs> it's twins, there's it's two. It's twin guys. Holy Moses. You like it? I can't believe it. Oh my God. I'm like shaking, oh, that's my why the camera's Baby. Oh, this like is not baby. real. This is not happening to me. It says, baby, baby's <laughs> coming. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Are you shocked? I'm stunned beyond belief. Okay, wait. So be honest. Like, did you, when I was telling you, like, oh Let me no, tell you what happened, guys. Let me just talk to you. I look crazy. She's a stunning, beautiful <laughs> wife. Listen, guys. Let me tell you what happened. I'm not panicking. He's definitely I'm just panicking. trying to process this. It's all hit me like a ton of bricks, okay? First things first. I have to call... I can't tell nobody because it's a surprise, but I have no, to. No, we can't tell people. I'm sorry. Tiff has to go to a doctor. It's the first child. Got to go to a doctor immediately. Make sure everything's good. So I'm, we're, we're not actually in Tennessee. So that makes me a little more nervous. Our best doctors would be in San Diego. We're going to go to San Diego to go to a doctor. Do you know any there? I, I do. Okay, Tiff says she knows a doctor in San Diego. I have you called them? What I would do is I would call them and ask for a recommendation. I'll call her. But, give me give me your number right now. Okay, okay we're we're calling right I gotta now. Clean up and pack. Uh, this 
No, I, I'm too stunned. No, I, oh, where'd it go? Hold on. I'm mentally shook right now. I don't even know what to say. I've been missing the other O, and I was showing you guys in the video before watching. It literally says, Baby Bates coming son, but I forgot the other O, so I just shoved the sun away, and it just says, Baby Bates coming. Baby Bates coming son. Coming son, it could be my son. I'm yelling because I'm too hyped. Okay. Or a little girl. It could be a little girl. Thank you for coming with me on my chaotic trip and my chaotic pregnancy test. My video was literally like, I'm not pregnant. I'm literally just taking this so I can get sleep. And then I peed on it and like literally three, five seconds late, later both lines show up and I'm staring in the camera. I'm literally just like, whoa. I'm like, this isn't real. It can't be like, real. Try again. It can't be real. And then I tried it again. And then I was like, I was so confused. I was like, I don't know why the line's getting darker. I was so confused. One, two, one, two, pregnant, not pregnant. Like. One, two, hold it up, Tiff. Like I literally. Point it toward him. I literally was like, why is it getting darker? I was so confused. Cause you know, sometimes you're like, oh, it's a really faint line. And I'm like, well, it keeps getting darker. So maybe we should do it again. So. This one's darker than that one. Yeah, so I think this one I took, I actually don't know cause I, what happened is he fell asleep last night, which you guys- It was 3 a.m., guys. I'm literally holding this in front of his face and he's sleeping, I'm going, I'm pregnant. Which what? I didn't know. Yeah. You did not. I did. While I was asleep. Yeah, I turned the flash in your face. I said, Lawson, wake up, I'm pregnant. And I was showing you, I knew he wouldn't wake up. He can't wake up. Well, I didn't know how to do this, so I'm very smart. Okay, but what do we do? Are you gonna make me can't, can't cancel this Europe trip? Um, you're gonna take it one day at a time. Get over here and go to sleep, okay? Get you a water. Hey, babe. Babe. I love you. I love you bigger than that. Okay, good night. I literally, in the video, told you guys, I was like, I just ate food and drank like three things of water. I said, the best way is take in the morning. I said, yeah, so it's not, so even it's not gonna show. And, and you're only a week late. It literally turns double line in like two seconds. I was five days late, and so I'm, I've been a week late. Like, that's just hormones fluctuate. So I thought, oh, no big deal. The thing that gave it away was I was thinking, it was the spotting, because normally, like in the beginning of my cycle, I don't know, this is TMI, but girls watch this so they know. Um, when I was, uh, I started spotting, but I thought, oh, okay. I said, usually when that happens, it just all comes in at once. But then it literally stopped for a whole day and I was like, that has never happened. Another thing too, tenderness, it usually goes away once I start, but it literally kept hurting. Another thing too was, Lawson has to put up a lot with my like emotions and like, no, it's like it's you guys, okay. he's a saint. It's and so not. I found myself just being a little bit less patient with him more in the last two weeks. <laughs> And I was like, why am I so impatient? Like, I don't understand what's going on, but it's probably hormones, so. It's all fine. I don't know. I gotta breathe. How early did you wake up once I got, got up this morning? I woke up seven. Where did you yeah. think I went this morning? It didn't compute. I thought she went with her dad to see these adorable baby fish right here. And, then and she sent me a video, so I assume that's where she I was. Know. I thought, oh my goodness, he's gonna wonder where I've been. And so I was like, oh, I left something at my dad's friend's house. I know house. your location was off, but I thought you did it for your mom or something else. She turned her location off. She does that like when she's gonna like fly in and see her mom or something. So that's what I thought she had done. You guys wanna know what I was gonna do if we were in t Tennessee? Yes, and what were you pregnant? gonna do? I literally last night was chaotically looking at, wait to tell your husband you're pregnant because I forgot <laughs> all of them because I'm not in Tennessee. Cause everything, we expected to be home. Everything I wanted to do was in Tennessee. And I, yeah, I was saying like, we're going to Europe. So that's why we I had didn't to expect rush. to be expecting. Um, but I, you know, on our piano, how we have the B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was literally gonna go back to Hobby Bot Lobby and have it say baby, and then you come back and just like hang around and be like, oh, you go, should go play the piano. And then you look up and it says like baby. That was one of them. And then that was the main I was thing. not expecting and this so I, in any way. I'm I wanted, shook beyond belief. I wanted to make it special, so I just like ran to Dollar mm -hmm. General. I ran to two other stores and they had nothing. And so then like oh, I, my. I was like, I wanted to do something cute. Here we are. I couldn't believe this moment in my life has arrived. We gotta tell my parents that I know exactly how we're gonna do it. We can't tell them now. We can't? No, we're gonna, you're gonna wanna tell them in Spain, right? Well, I have a plan, but we'll 
share she that. She has a plan. We'll share that video. That's the next video. Of I have a lot to process. <laughs> First thing we got to do is get to the doctor. Yeah, no, make I sure this baby and this beautiful wife is healthy. We're going I to the doctor. I've been exercising really well the last two weeks. I think that's a factor. Because it's been... Um, I've been trying to just get like uh, healthier m muscle and healthier and yesterday I started my third week of like this weight stuff I was so out of breath like I literally was like shaking and then Lawson came in and he's like oh like form and I was like try like form, I've never form, had form. like that hard of a time doing it out of and I thought oh maybe because I went up to 10 pounds but I it was so hard like I was like so she's tough she was putting me to shame in these exercise fitness uh, workouts but Guys, we can't wait to see what the future holds. It looks like it's gonna be a lot because we're gonna be holding the future soon, like this. We gotta figure all this out. And I guess it's a good thing I didn't put anything in the potential baby room because I was gonna set it up as the man cave with my whole gym set up. So uh, the baby room is getting rescued by the baby from Lawson's man cave. My makeup tutorial out there was get ready with me to tell my husband I'm pregnant. Shut. Oh, she said, I'm going to film a makeup tutorial. I'm, I'm not a makeup artist. Guys. I'm in your editing. And she comes back and says, the tutorial was lame. <gasps> I don't know, guys. I'm not an influencer. <laughs> we're not ready to be parents. No, we're not. <laughs> we're kids. We're That's not. literally the other day he was like, I we're was like, kids. Are you I saw this, this trend the other day and it said, I'm going to pick up the pens. It said when the realization hits that, you're closer to having children than being a child and it hasn't hit you yet. And honestly, I always think of myself as just a kid. And I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But yeah, we're definitely closer now to having a kid than being a child. So. It's so funny, like going back to the exercise thing because I thought, man, like my pants, I'm so proud of myself. I'm gaining muscle. You're because, gaining muscle. Because my pants were like She's getting a little like iron. tighter. And I was like, oh good, like I'm gaining muscle. And I was like, my hips were are so sore. And I was like, oh good, like I've been That's doing That's what she squats. said, it's the, it's the butt workouts. It is the butt workouts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's other things too. I don't know how this is real guys. We're taking y'all to the dock. Yay. Hang tight, we'll see you soon. I guess baby Bates. Lord willing, we'll be here soon. Let the countdown commence. Bye. Oh no, I just gotta eat something. <laughs> okay, oh, let the late night food runs for whatever her heart desires and craves begin as well. It's the size of a poppy seed. That's so cute. Here I am in the ER, already panicked. I don't want to be that worried mother, but here I am. <laughs> I also have, this thing really hurts in my arm. They put this in. Does this hurt for you guys? Like, I'm really small. This hurts really bad. I just, I've already cried, and um, it's just really sad, so.